what's up guys welcome to another let's go to work episode you guys already know what time it is man but let's get started now we do have a couple of things to do today as far as uh getting some cars and i was about to you guys can see that um as far as like trading some cars um we got to pick up two special cars we got to fill up some of the garage basically switching up you know the garage and stuff like that and you guys can you know the gaming room man i remember when my gaming room was this small been a while man it's been a while but my setup I, I don't know why this setup i don't know i'm thinking about a setup like this because i have a bigger screen so i have the big screen and then the the three other screen like on the side i'm thinking about a setup like that where you can actually look up on that screen like that this is on point man but anyway let me know let me know how's your how's your setup looking like man especially you guys that are gaming and stuff like that but i slept at this place over here and i do need to fill up the bus which uh i think should be out yeah, I think it's park outside right now. And uh, right now, I think we do have the Viper in the garage. Let's go grab a, uh, a gas can real quick and then uh, we'll fill up the bus. We got a road trip over there going on. All right, we're taking the Viper out. By the way, um, nah, I'm not even going to talk about that, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take the Viper, man. I have one of my friends that have one of these Vipers, though, man. When I say this do actually drive his Viper, like I know a lot of people that have, actually I have two of my friends that have those Vipers and uh, they really drive the Vipers like for real. Some people park the Vipers or barely drive them, park them up. But these guys really drive the Vipers. man. You guys remember the Clinton estate right over here? So we got a couple people from over there that wanted to rent one of our buses and uh, and this is it, man. Uh, so right now, all I have to do is fill up the bus. Let's make sure we have enough gas because I drove it all the way over here from uh, Trevor. This is Trevor's bus, by the way. But you know, Trevor makes some money. I make some money. It is what it is, man. Make some money together, bro. All right. Oh, it's, it's almost full. All right. So I won't have to put that much. Um, Let me see. It's been a while. Do I have to drive it over there or can I just use my jerry can? It's been a while. I don't know how the bus version work. I think we might have to drive it over there, guys. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. Do I have to hold it? Yeah, I have to hold it. All right, we fill up the tank. Let's make sure everything is good. I have to bring the Viper back to the other garage, so this should be fun. Oh, the the gas tank is already done like that. It's not full. Oh. We have to drop this thing. All right, I'll go get another jerry can. I thought this jerry. Oh, you guys didn't see that. Oh, I, I thought this jerry can would have filled it up, but it didn't. Let's hurry up because they're about to go on a road trip, man. It's Saturday. All right, let me see. Yeah, we don't have any. All right, so let's go to the closest gas station. You guys already know the gas station right down the block. Uh, I would love to drive a Viper though, man. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm thinking like if I my next, I don't know. I know some of you guys be thinking like Lambo, this and that. I, I don't know, man. I'm thinking about that. that I hope they have like Dodge come back with a better Viper, bro. Can you imagine if they make like a futuristic Viper? Ooh. I mean, we haven't seen a new Viper in a while, man. We need a new one. We definitely need a new one, Dodge. Just think about it. Think about it real quick. But um, I'm just about to get a jerry can real quick. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't hit the Viper, please. Oh, you got it. This is one car that you kind of have to have respect for it. Uh, it will embarrass you. Yeah, this is one of those cars. Thank you. But yeah, it will definitely embarrass you, bro. You got to chill out. They don't have no jerry can here. Do they usually have the jerry can around? Wait, where is the jerry can? Oh, I have to go inside and buy it, huh? All right, let's get the jerry can, bro. I'm gonna park right here real quick. They usually have it like around. Of course, you have to get it from inside. It is what it is. Man, um, one of my friends ran out of gas uh, recently. Actually, I had to like you know rescue them or whatever. And I forgot, like, yo, when I say they give me a hard time to get some gas like that too, man. 
I was like, wait, I bought the bottle from them. Then I, they had to like watch me and stuff like that. I was like, whoa, is it that serious? I was like, yo, I'm about to go rescue somebody on the highway, bro. Like they need gas. <laughs> they need gas, man. Oh, that's a cop. That's a cop. Gotta be careful, man. I'm not speeding, sir. You never had to like rescue somebody on the highway somewhere. Oh, that cop's still coming, bro. I was mad far before I start speeding. He is still coming for us. He is still coming. All right. Um, can I get off the car before he gets here? Yep. He just passed by. He just passed by. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We got to fill this up. Oh, do I have to get in it again? Yeah, I kind of have to get in it. That's the way these mods work. But um, yeah, man, I hope you guys are all going to, to enjoy these type of episodes. I mean, I enjoy it. Let's go to work, man. I'm just happy to be bringing it back and just you know, just doing our thing from playing as Steve the Gamer and also playing as Franklin. And uh, some of you guys. OK, so do you guys think we should restart the Franklin episodes, meaning starting from fresh? Like I'm talking about starting from zero, I guess, like you guys usually say, I think somebody was doing like doing um, like starting from like zero dollar to get up there because I feel like we're already doing that with my player. All right, we're going to refuel this. All right, they have enough gas. I will put a tank like on the bottom of this too. Let me see. Can you open up? I, I just want to open up all the doors and see. So we're going to use sample native trainer right now, guys. Let's open all the doors. Open all vehicles doors. Wow. OK. OK, you can actually open the back too. I mean, the bottom part of it. Oh, oh, in the back, in the back, of course. Let me know. This is one of my favorite bus, by the way. And uh, to turn on the light inside, like we can actually go inside and check out the rooms and stuff like that. it's not that much people. It's only people from the hotel that's going so we can actually check it out. Let me know. And talking about checking out a property, um, we do have a property that we're gonna check out today. I do have to pick up a new Bugatti from that location, so yeah, we're gonna check that out today. All right, so that's enough for the bus, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy that. It's been a while since we drove this too. I just had to make sure I fill it up. We got a couple people from up there that's leaving, and uh, yeah, let's bring the Viper back to the garage though. As you guys can tell, I'm getting sleepy. Am I ever at 100% sleep? I don't think so, man. I don't sleep like that, man. I be chilling. I be chilling. Even when I have time to sleep, I end up like going somewhere. So it's like, man, I'm always, I'm, I'm using all my time, bro. All my time. Hashtag no sleep. Viper, Viper. Be nice, man. Viper, you don't know how to be nice, man. That's what I'm saying. You got, you have to respect this car. Whoa, 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 okay. I thought you was gonna try to turn left. All right, anyway, we're dropping this off over here. I have to pick up the truck, and I also have to pick up a new Ram TRX. Now, for the TRX that I'm um, picking up, I'm trading in one of the track hawks. So, we're going to the track hawk garage. All right. I was thinking about this track hawk, but we already moved it here. This is a track hawk that we use a lot, guys. So we ain't trading this track hog right here. All right, so um, something that she can actually pick up. I she can actually pick up the bike. Let's take the bike. Yes, sir. Oh. All right, so after we'll pick up um, uh, we'll pick up uh, the what you call it that that truck that HD truck. Because uh, these two cars that I'm picking up, they don't have no plate. Plus, I want to use that enclosed trailer for them. So we'll see. Oh man, we're just passing by. Um, I do have. Let me see. I just I did update the truck. Yes, the truck looks so much better now. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you guys think about those new rims on it. I might have to change the color too, but you know, I like I like for that truck to match the trailer. Simeon ain't here, man. It's Saturday. Simeon always taking the day off, bro. All right. Where are we going right now? We're going to 
Or where's oh, I was about to say, where's the garage? I thought that was it right here. No, it's right over here. A Mopar garage. Since we are trading in one of tra the track hawk, um, but a 1500 um, is not the gold, but it's a demon ram. I never, never seen that yet in real life. But I, I mean, we see it in the game. Is he first person with? Oh, that shit look nice, bro. When I say GTA, have come a long way, bro. My goodness, this looks so realistic. Man, I play so many other games, guys, but I always find myself coming back to GTA. And I, you know, this man, this thing goes a long way, bro. By the way, I've been playing that um, what you call it, 171, that Brazil game. I'm gonna be uploading some more episodes, of course, but that game is fun. Believe it or not, that game is fun, man. It definitely remind me of the first time I started playing GTA, just exploring, just just checking out everything, see what I like, see what I don't like, and just you know, see what we're gonna be using a lot. But just like I said, man, we are here to pick up. Should we give up? Nah. Actually, this is gonna be a quick trade, so I'm I'm giving up the um one of the track hawk. I have another track hawk at the other location, so we're giving up the purple track hawk, guys. Oh, we still have a spot though for a track hawk. What you guys think? We still have a spot, but I mean, I have the other track hawk at the other location. Definitely a big shout out to Potato Man, always hooking it up. As you can see, um, I wanted to give up this track hawk right here. We do have the other track hawk, and uh, yeah, this is what I'm giving up. It it is nice though. It is it is a nice hawk. It definitely can you can you imagine having a demon engine on a ram? Like that thing, that thing is nice, man. All right, I I really like the Durango too. So is the Gold. I mean, you guys realize I do have multiple. Um, I think I have two demons. Well, let's go. All right, We're about to go pick it up. Actually, I gotta call the guy, man. Let me call him. See what's up. If he's ready for so us. We do have the go. Let's go, man. So this guy actually lived right down the block. I mean, Mirror Park, of course. Oh no, I think we should have some more houses at Mirror Park. So this location, they kind of added more location at Mirror Park, but we should have like some bigger mansion at Mirror Park. Mirror Park is a nice little town, man. It kind of remind me of Queens in a way, but Mirror Park is definitely a nice town, if you ask me. All right, but we pulling up right now. As you guys can see, they got security now. Mirror Park got security, bro. All right. A lot of places to sell. As you guys can see, look at this thing, man. Look. It's probably going to sound like this anyway, so it is what it is. All right, so we're going to lock this thing right here. I'm going to have to delete it from the garage as we add the new fit. Man, look look at this. Look at this. Somebody. Do we do we even call it 1500 anymore? Like Look at this, man. I mean, it's a demon now. All right, go TRX. Let's go. The TRX might be my new favorite, like for real. Let's go. All right, I gotta change the plate. The interior is not fully done. I'm not sure what happened, but I mean, other than that, we good. Oh, oh, ho, ho, yo, he actually made it fast. Yo, yo, we're gonna have to push this on the highway, bro. Oh, yo! Can we get to 180 map? Oh my! Okay, I don't want to crash it. Imagine you just got a car and you crash it now. No sir. All right, so we do have to add this to the garage, but I'm about to. Come on, man! You know when you just got a car, the first thing. I mean, me. First thing I want to do is get on the highway with it. That's the type of cars I be getting. Oh my! Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. We're supposed to take this exit, but no, I wanna I wanna push this a little bit more. Can we join the 180 club? Yes we did. Oh my okay, stopping it is a trouble now. Oh yeah, no, we definitely just passed 180 <laughs> on that one. That was fast. That was fast, bro. Alright. 
So let's let's head back. We gotta put this in the garage, guys. No cops, no cops. Look at this thing, though, man. Let me see the lights. Oh, this is on point. This is on point, bro. All right, we've taken the next exit. Was it this exit right here? Oh, it probably no, 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 it wasn't. Okay, this is the exit that I want to take. So it could bring me uh, to the next highway, so I can actually just bring this to the house. I don't even have to drift. All I gotta do is step on the step on the gas, bro. I'm drifting. All right, is the next exit from this? This thing is fast. It's even killing my FPS, bro. Can we see my mansion from over here? Oh yes, we can. All right, I shouldn't stop on the highway. Oh oh oh! Don't crash it on the first drive, bro. Don't crash it on the first drive. All right, I'll take the next exit. Oh, yo, yo! Nah, you guys saw that. Come on, man. Nah, man, I need, I need your license, bro. Oh shoot. Not you, not you. That you all truck just did me dirty, man. That's my new ram, bro, bro, bro. You, you, we fighting, bro. We fighting. Come here, come here, man. Come here, come here. Get out, get out. Get out. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, man. Nah, man. That's road race to the max. That road ra road race to the max, man. I can't even speak right now. That's how Matt I am. I can't crash a car. I just bought it, bro. Oh, man. Really, dude? Really? All right. Let me get your insurance, man. Let me get your insurance, bro. All right. Let me get your insurance. All right. Let's trade paperwork, bro. Oh, you picked the wrong guy. You see what you just did? You see what you just did, bro? Bro, as I was saying, man, how much is that gonna cost? Let me guess. What is he gonna say? Oh, I didn't see you. And also, this is the main reason why you shouldn't be driving that fast. Real life, this should not be a thing. <laughs> right. Just keeping it real with you. You shouldn't be driving that fast because it's never you. It's really the other driver, but you know, you never know. You never know when somebody's gonna make a mistake like that. And guess what? You end up the, uh, the one paying for it and stuff like that. But um, it is what it is. I am not even that mad because we're gonna be able to fix this. But this dude is tripping, man. We fought a little bit, but you know what? We good. We good. Wait, is this thing flashing? Oh, we got so wait, no way. This thing got lights and what? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is my new truck, bro. This is my new truck. I just realized that, man. This thing don't open up. Come on, man. Oh, okay. I was about to say, yo, what's up? I need to fix my car, bro. All right, how much y'all charging me for this? How much y'all charging me for this, man? I just bought this, bro. All right. Only if he could do that in real life, bro. Two hundred, only two hundred and twenty-three dollars. Thank you, bro. But well, look at this, bro. All right. So this is the new Demon Ram. That's what I'm. I mean, that's what it says. <laughs> it is what it is. Yo, I was just saying. That's why you, you got to be careful what you say nowadays, too, man. We can't crash. I mean, we did say it. we can't crash it on the first day, and boom. But you all truck came out of nowhere, bro. All right, let's fill up the tank and let's go park this thing, man. To your truck, man. All right, so guys, we do have to pick up uh, the next uh, two vehicles so I can actually complete some other garage, like the hypercar garage. And also, we're picking up a Maybach, my back, however you say it. We're picking up a Maybach, and uh, yeah, I think this should be fun. And I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I didn't expect for that to happen, but you know. I was like I say, these other drivers sometime, man. What is wrong with that crown, Vic? My goodness. Do that and that be at fault. My goodness, man. All right. All right, so we adding this. And then we're gonna delete this right here. So we'll get a chance to delete since we took it out. That's why it's not here. Uh we're gonna delete it. I I know, I know. We're gonna need another track hawk up in here. But um 
what though? All right, so I think this is it right here. I don't want to delete the wrong thing. All right, this is the new truck, and then we deleting this. Remove. All right. Man, pressing B always get me in trouble in GTA, man. All right, we need something to get out of here so I can actually go pick up the stuff. And you guys already know the main reason why I have this in here because I have I used to have one of these, man. This is one of my favorite charger right here, man. It brings back a lot of memory. We haven't drove the Camaro in a while. I guess I take the Camaro. Um, and once we're done with it, they usually bring it back to the garage. So it is what it is. Oh, <laughs> that thing sounds built, bro. All right, let's go. All right, so um, just like I say, I'm about to go pick up the truck, and then we gotta go pick up uh, those stuff, uh, those two cars from this palace. Yes, a palace in GTA. Yeah, I need, I need my, I need a palace for me too. <laughs> I don't think I could live in a palace though, guys. This is something like coming to America for real, bro. All right, we'll park this in the garage at Simeon, and then uh, we'll head over there. And I, I guess I'll get a chance to show you guys the palace too. Not that I'm that crazy about a pal a palace. I mean, I'm from Brooklyn, man. I like my little small confined space, you know, just I don't know. It's like, like that. even right now I get, I have a big place, but I always find myself like in the smallest room, just chilling. Just I mean, not the smallest, smallest room, but um, it was a pretty nice little spot. I got the couch around. I got like, you know, mad monitor monitors around. I can't speak today, bro. Uh, mad monitors around just, you know, I use the whole space. <laughs> I guess we just used to that Brooklyn, um, you know, most of the place. I mean, uh, unless like I'm, I wasn't balling like that in Brooklyn or whatever, but you know, I had a nice little place, bro. Nice little place. Hey, they can actually do a, uh, an oil change on this wise here. All right, so let's go check some paperwork. I mean, Simeon haven't been here in a while, bro. We sold out though. We sold out. Do you guys think we should bring the secretary back? Definitely let me know. And start working over here because I'm bringing the dealership um, work back too. Um, definitely let me know if that's something we should bring back. But right now, we're just about to check some paperwork, making sure some numbers are right. And then after that, um, we should be chilling. All right. From my point of view, everything looked good, man. Everything looked good. As you guys can tell, that we all getting hungry, but not that hungry yet. Um, I got a couple of things to do, you know. I have to go get these cars. I don't like I don't like people waiting on me, man. I like to get things done. And I kind of feel like, you know, uh, one of, one of the things I realized the other day, right? I was like, yo, that is so crazy. So I remember like you remember times like when you know you got a either a school project or homework and uh somebody there's a project that I had to do for somebody. I mean, for for one of my businesses, of course. And I realize, like, I've been procrastinating. And by procrastinating, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Yo, I like, I got it done so quick because I realized, oh, shoot, if I get it done, kind of take that, you know, that stress, that headache from your head. That's like, that's almost like the homework. Cause you know, when you have a project to do, especially when it's a group project, and you know, like, all right, I wanna do my part. So, you know, so we can actually get the teamwork and all that stuff. And just making sure that everything is done. But I got the project done like just recently. I actually I was working on it yesterday. Oh man, this looks so much better. I like the truck better now, man. What you guys think? Oh, what you guys think? All right, so guys, right now we have to. So I got the work done, man. But I was like, wow, this is why. It's like, yo, when it's time to do your homework, just get it done, man. Just do what you have to do. Because it's going to come to a point in life where you're going to have to do your own work or your own homework. And then if you keep procrastinating on doing that homework or LS, at least finishing that project, you're going to be doing that for yourself too, man. Or at least for your job. And you don't want to get fired or anything like that. But right now, let's go, man. I finished, man. I finished that project so quick. And you know what? It was all in my head because I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do that. Guess how long it took me to finish that project, bro? Like an hour, an hour on a project that I'm thinking is gonna take me a whole week to finish, and I, man, I, I'm like, oh man, that's the last thing in my head now, man. Got it done real quick. But right now, guys, where are we going? We're going all the way up here. I make sure the 
you know, put stuff like that for the map so I can actually remember where everything is to. Because we have so much things on the map. I can actually go this way. So we're going to bring one to our hypercar garage and one to our um, Mercedes garage because it's going to be a brand new Maybach. And then also we'll get a chance to check out the property, man. We'll get a chance to check out the property and uh, hopefully you guys going to enjoy that. That property, you can actually, you can actually find it on GTA5Minds.com. It's called a palace or the uh, tree, tree and tree and I hope I say it right. The tree and palace or something like that. And uh, yeah, once we go, once we get over there, I'll show you guys around and uh, we'll pick up my two new cars. Wait, what is that again? Oh, I forgot about this. So this is when I ex so I accidentally create like you can actually create jobs in GTA now where you have a location you pick and then you have you can actually set the animation. You could you know, there's so many things you can actually do man. just like from single player to online and all that. And as you guys can see, the two green little um, it, it looked like two green little house or something like that. And uh, those are our garage. I think one is our McLaren garage and one is our Tesla garage. Talking about Tesla. We need to deliver all oh, little car, man. Come on, bro. We need to deliver some Teslas to the dealership since uh, we are out of them. We got to deliver some new Teslas, bro. Oh, but yo, recent. I mean, I knew. I mean, I heard of it, but I saw somebody that or like he showed me like he wanted a new Tesla. He wanted a new um, Tesla that he he was able to like customize it online and it was delivered to him. I was like, wow, that is pretty cool. bro. That's pretty cool how we can actually do stuff like that <laughs> before I start saying back in my days, you know, we didn't have. But, you know, guys, I grew up on like computers, like the first beginning of computers and stuff like that, because you guys in class now, they teaching you like, you know, a lot of stuff about computers. You don't they don't even have to teach you about cell phones or anything like that. We already know about these things. But um, around my time, it was like, you know, the Nokia's, the regular cell phones, the we didn't, I mean, we had a laptop, but laptop, like I remember not being able to touch my dad's laptop because he was, he, he had like, you know, important works in there and stuff like that. And we only had one computer for like, for like the whole house and stuff. And then you were not allowed to touch it to even play video game because they were like serious work. I know some of you OGs remember those times. Whereas like, like our parents had serious work on the computer. Like you had to like really spend some money back in the days to buy a computer. And computers were like so important. It was a new technology. It was oh man, when that thing gets dirty, look how it look. So it was it was pretty different, man. I mean, I'm just happy to like even my son now. Like when when they um when they have like either an ads going on when he's watching his little show or whatever, he already know to click next and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Right now, guys, we are heading to the location. Hey, you guys, man, you guys are growing up to like um, nice. What? What is wrong with this deer? Oh, we got a dead deer. Is he dead? Oh, yeah, he jumped, bro. He jumped. I don't have animal control on this, so I can't really call animal control on that. But man, yo, this thing got really dirty. We're going to have to clean up our truck, bro. I think when I'm bringing those cars back, we're going to have to clean this up. This was a long drive. This was a road trip, but we here. We are here. Am I going to be? No, I'm parking outside. I don't like bringing the trailer in somebody's house, man. We're going to park right in front of the property and uh, we'll load up the cars like we usually do. All right, so we're going to park right in front of the car. Look at the palace. Can you see yourself living like this in a palace? Just like I say, man, I'm from Brooklyn. I love my little space, little space. I mean, I'll buy it just to rent it out. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're gonna need to clean this, bro. Do you guys see this? I mean, we didn't even go that far. All right, we here. We are here. All right, let's check out the palace and uh, after that, maybe get some to eat, clean the truck, drop off the cars, and you know, hopefully, you guys been enjoying this. Uh, I guess today's episode, of course. The palace. Look at this. Should we get the cars first? Load up the cars, get the work done first and play later. Yeah. All right. So let's check out the garage. 
So I'm supposed to only check the first garage, as you guys can see. So this is my two new babies right now. We got a mensary kit on a Bugatti Chiron, and then we got the new Maybach. This thing is on point, man. Let me know what you guys think. No plates. Uh, both of the cars don't have plates. No wonder. All right, both of the cars don't have plates. Just like I say, we just gonna grab the cars first, and then uh. Oh, let's go. All right, so I have to make sure. So now, guys, I'm going to have to use Mania. You guys already know how we do. Mania is the way I get things done in GTA, man. And so for anybody that's looking for this, uh, this is GTA. Uh, you can actually find it <laughs> on GTA Five Mods. AKA Mania. Wow, this is nice. Oh, look at the interior, bro. Look at my J's. <laughs> look at the interior. Oh, look at that. Somebody look at this. All right, that's a nice Chiron, man. All right, so we're going to load up the first Chiron. I mean, the first car first, which is this Chiron. Try not to scrape it too much. All right. All right, so what we're going to do is open this. Oh, man, I think I might have to move it again. Is Sharon gonna be able to, to fit? I mean, not fit, but um, the ramp. All right, let's open the trunk. Oh, okay, it's down. It's down. Now you're gonna bring the Sharon in there. I think it's down enough to the point. I hope we don't have to hit the Sharon like that. All right, there we go. Not like when we went to Stradman House and messed up everything. <laughs> All right, so let me get out. Let's lock it. And then now let's attach it. Gonna attach it to the wait, what just happened? Oh, uh, I was about to say. Um, I'm trying to attach it to the enclosed trailer. Where is it? I think I might have to get out first. The enclosed trailer is tripping. All right, so maybe we're gonna have to sit on the enclosed trailer first. Okay, there we go. All right, so I just want to say last seated vehicles. And if you want to do this yourself, you can actually um, do this by using Mania, yeah, of course, as you guys can see. This is almost like a demonstration. Um, it, I don't know why it's not showing on this. All right, last seated vehicle, which should be this. And then we gonna move this forward. Yo, that thing look mean. I wanna make sure I catch the tires. All right. Okay. From my point of view. Is good. We can actually move it forward some more. All right, that's good enough. And now let me see. Did I lock all three of them? Yep. All right, let's go get my Mercedes, man. And then after that, we'll check out the place. This place look huge, though. You guys see this place? Oh, it's actually you want to check. We'll check out the rest of the garage. I just empty out his first garage so far. <laughs> it's just like I say, this is mania. Let's do this. Um. Oh, actually, was it? <laughs> Get that man. Somebody look. Oh shoot. Oh, this is on point, man. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know. Like, if I get a Maybach, I won't be in the back seat, though. I mean, that's why it's like, yo, if uh, I will only have a Maybach for like when I'm out of town. That's why I wouldn't get a Maybach for me to just like drive around like that. If I'm out of town, like, you know, when I'm in New York and stuff like that, when I'm in LA, yeah, this is the right car to have. Just get driven around. Most of the time when I'm in New York now, man, got my driver, bro. Just, I'm chilling. If I if I'm not in like one of those Lambos or something like that, come on, man. Definitely big shout out to Clown Nine. I can't get out this way. All right, what we're gonna do is open the doors now, cause I can't get out from from over there. 
Oh, okay. Just went through it. I show you guys didn't see that. All right, am I able to lock this now? Because we want to make sure we put this in the garage, man. All right, we lock it, attach it, and let's get this thing going. I'm gonna close the door on this. Come on, alarm! Stop going off. Yeah, for some reason it just won't do it. Like, yo, why y'all not see my enclosed trailer? If I have to like sit in the enclosed trailer? No, 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 not on my truck. All right, sit in there. I'll show you guys and see that and attach it. That is if you're having the same issue I'm having, of course. All right, so let's attach this thing. Oh no, did I just get the Bugatti? Oh my goodness, it's already attached. Okay, we're not gonna detach. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got that. Let's bring it back. This was more than enough space, though. If you ask me. Yo, this thing is low to the ground. All right, we're gonna raise it up. That's some nice rims. All right, enough space from the Bugatti. Oh no, we're gonna have to move that back some more. Give the Bugatti some space, bro. All right, I think that's enough. Everything is loaded um, and we're ready to go. Everything is attached. Everything is safe. All right, let's close the trailer and then let's go inside the place, man. Let me show you guys around real quick and uh, we'll bring these cars to our garage. All right, that's the way you play GTA, bro. I'm getting hungry, though. I'm, I'm at 26 right now. We should be good though. All right, so that's the last place for the day. Um, this nice mansion over here. Look at that. Is that an SV just passing by? Nice car, man. And we got the regular GTA cars, of course. I wanted to switch this back to a Rolls Royce, but the Rolls Royce takes so much memories, man. So let's just say this isn't a Rolls Royce just passing by. All right, the trailer's closed. Let's go. All right, guys. As you walk into the palace. I mean, this is nice, man. This is nice. What's what's over here on the left? Oh, they don't play, man. They don't. Oh, this is other garages too, yo. But we only fill up. Um, I mean, we only have cars in this garage, yo. Do you think we should move in here? I mean, since we're gonna have to restart with Franklin, bro. How can we get to the palace? Right, we got some collections up in here, but I mean, I was only here for two cars. As you guys can see, I was only over here for two cars. All right, so I didn't I didn't even know there was like a whole garage over here too though. Now this is on point. This is on point. I like it. Talking about my garage, man. This is this should be my garage right here. Oh wait, we could have walked on this. No, this is on point, guys. I wouldn't want to wet my J's, but this is on point. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. The palace. <laughs> I don't know how many times I say that already. Well, welcome to the palace, guys. Let's check it out. Do we have people in the house? I mean, I already bought. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have a lot of people in the palace. All right, so we look left. Oh, look at the bottles. Look left. That look like the kitchen over there, or just a table bar. What's over on our? All right, let's let's go to the left. Let's see. Yeah, that's the kitchen. Come on, man. You know we hit in the kitchen first. Let's go. All right, this is nice so far. And what's on the what's at the right? I saw a pool table. I mean, in my head, this is such a waste of space, bro. Just saying, just saying. This is just me. We got a big table over here. I mean, it's there's a lot of space, but I feel like this is such a waste of space, bro. Oh, we use all of this, bro. Cause that's just me, right? All right, let's go upstairs from right here. Right, nice little chilling spot. We got another step. Okay, let's go to the steps on this side. There's so much room. Like I, I, I mean, you kind of feel you could breathe, though. 
All right, we got the lock. Uh, I mean, we we definitely have a lock over there. This is a bath. This is an open bathroom. Okay, you could take a shower while looking outside too. And this is one of the bedrooms. It should have been closer to the window. Just like I say, man, this is a palace. This is a palace. Wow. Whatever you say, your highness. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Like, you kind of feel like you could breathe in this place, though, right? Like, look at that high ceiling, all of that. I'm ready to just take my cars and go. We don't even have a palace, bro. Do we need a palace? <laughs> Let me know. All right. Come on. This is a palace. They they should not have that type of system. This should be on a wall. Like, you know, next level type of stuff, man. Wow. This is this is next level. This is a picture time moment. Picture time moment, bro. All right. Oh. Oh. All right, so let's go on this side. As you guys can tell, man, I do enjoy I enjoy GTA so much, man. I know some of you guys be asking, like, why you play GTA so much? Cause I do enjoy the game. Like I play so many other games though. But I always find myself coming back to this. The customization, the the preferences, like you can actually get like all the stuff you can actually customize, bro, to the next level. As you guys saw, I accidentally pressed the ratio where we can actually customize how low we want the will. Oh, you can actually just hang out from my oh, I didn't even do that over there. Wow. Wow, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, it was downstairs. I kind of feel like Scarface face right now, man. This is this is a palace, bro. I guess he's just sitting there. No TV, none of that. All right, but you guys rate this property for me, one to ten. You can actually find this on GTA Five Minds.com, of course. It is it is available. Um, yeah, man. You got a view of the whole city, the whole city. If you can't see that side, you go over there. Yeah, hey, you got a view of the whole city, bro. So what's up? It's cool, but if mm -hmm. I miss another day on my schedule, they don't fire me. They gonna fire you? So why are you here? <laughs> Yo, she decided not to go to work so she can come chill at the palace. Okay, okay, I see you. Dude's is not even home. It was just people chilling in his house. It'd be like that. All right, I guess this is it for the palace. We got a big garage. I kind of feel like this is like an old school palace, because I, I like you know the technology on a new palace. I would I would expect to be like so much better. Yeah, like these TVs, and uh, the garage should be like underground or something like that. The garage should have like an elevator or something like that. Like, you know, the, the the new type of palace. But this is an OG palace, as you guys can tell. But just like I said, man, you guys rate this for me. Let me know how you guys feel. But right now, let's get out the palace. Let's go to our crib, bro. Let's go drop off these cars. And uh, as you can tell, man, how much I enjoy this. I gotta I, I do have to wash my truck though, man. And I need some food. So road trip. Again, back to the city. That was a nice palace, man. And for anybody that's new to this, this is a single player. I mean, even if you. That is if you reach that far in the episode, of course. This is a single player with a bunch of mods. You can actually do this online too, but depends on the server. Uh, unless you're on your own server, or unless you plan on somebody's server to actually have all these things. But the other option that you have, you can actually do this on single player, where you add all these mods. The only thing is you have to learn how to mod at least some type of knowledge of how to mod because that's the only way you're going to be able to do half of these stuff like, you know, add cars, add sound, add deliveries, add like, you know, just everything. Come on, man. Oh, I thought this clean it. All right. So the gas station we're going to the gas station with the um, car wash, but I'm actually going to pass by a kill spot too. Definitely big shout out to both a kill. I just found out there was another kill too. Shout out to you, bro. Um, yeah, and shout out to to tall boy a kill from New York, man. Shout out to you. Right now we are heading back to the city. 
just dropping these off, do what we have to do. And uh, just like I said, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. Uh, we got mansion on deck. Definitely a big shout out to my boy Guillo too, man. Always hooking us up with some of the best mansion in GTA 5. But now we're just driving. This thing, this thing actually sound realistic though. Oh, nope. This thing is so dirty. We can't even see. Driving my map, bro. <laughs> by map in the car, but there are cars nowadays where you can actually use a camera now, man. I I got a chance to drive the new Caddy, guys. Wow, look how nice this look, bro. Wow. This 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 spot. Every time I pass by, I'm pretty sure I say that, right? Yeah, every time I pass by, I say that over here. But it does it it does look nice though. But yeah, man, I got a chance to drive the new caddy. I'm pretty sure the Tesla's like that too. What is the camera in the front? Boy, you can actually just drive without the front windshield. I don't know if anybody does that, but I could just imagine. Let's go. This thing is moving. Oh, please don't hit me. All right, just like I said, we get some food first, man, because I'm starving, bro. And that's the way I usually do things too, man. Like I, I like to get the work done. If if I went there, you know, I got a little breakfast or whatever the case is. But before lunch, I like to get like most of my work done. And then by the time I get out of lunch, I could just, you know, not really chill, but you can actually take it easy or at least do the hard part of your work first. Because you know, once you get the hard part out of the way, the rest is easy. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Talking about working, man. Um, which bring me back. I mean, that was that was high school days. About to get some food real quick. That was high school days where I um by saying the hard part, right? The hard part, like for me, when I used um when I used to like you know have to clean the school and stuff like that. Not have to, but you know that was my job. That was my job or whatever. We're gonna go watch this. So by saying the hard part, I usually trying to get like, you know, clean because you have to clean, wipe down and then mop. <laughs> so I used to have to do like all of that, man. And then which taught me a lot, like, you know, throughout my career and all that Hello. stuff, man. Hello. How you doing, miss? You good? You say hello. I usually say hello to her. That's crazy. You good? Hey. Yeah, so we'll talk again. All right, so let's hurry up. Um, let's do this. I didn't even lock the truck in. Oh, god, I did. I did. All right, this thing is dirty. Let's go by the gas station real quick. Because I mean, somebody the other day was like, "Man, uh, I guess because I'm a YouTuber, or whatever the case is." Uh, like, oh, you never had a job. You never did this. You never. I'm like, bro, you talking to the wrong person. Definitely the wrong person, bro. I'm like, I'm not even gonna go there with you. Oh, uh, come on, traffic. Okay, green light. It's always when I'm trying to do something, I get stuck in traffic, bro. But I was like, nah, you're talking to the wrong person, bro. The wrong person to trying to like say anything you wanted to say. I didn't even let him finish. <laughs> I was like, nah, wrong person, bro. This ain't it. All right, so we're gonna leave this here. Leave the cars there. Let's go wash this. Let's see if this is gonna work, though. And this is what I'm talking about, like when it comes to GTA, man. There's so many things you can do. I kind of wish we had these things online, Rockstar. If we had these things online, I think online would have been so much more fun. I mean, there's certain things we have online, but like you know, add some more mansion, add like you know the stuff that I'm doing too, the the stuff that we mod, like LSPFR. Please have LSPFR or something related to where you can actually be a cop. In GTA. Please. All right, we got a clean truck. We do have a clean truck. Now let's go to our garage, man. Man, I'm giving you guys a full day of let's go to work. This is a full day, man. I might have to cut some stuff, but um, other than that, man, we good. This is a full day of let's go to work. All right, since we do have a trailer, we have to go around. Do we now? Mm, not really. Not really. Uh, let's see. Can we make it? 
What I would do is just back up real quick. I mean, you know, certain cars won't let you do that. Look at all that smoke. <laughs> like, yo, this is so, this feels so realistic with this truck, though. All right, so you guys already know which garage we're going to. This is good. I mean, this is kind of easier for me because I'm gonna um, use. Oh, shoot, did I take that? Oh, I took the sign. I mean, not the sign, part of the lights. We're going to our garage where we're going to drop this off and then keep it moving. And just like I said, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday or whenever you guys are watching this. Back with some let's go to work. Um, oh, whoa, 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 that was my turn. That was my turn. I was trying to turn, but I was trying to avoid this car, man. All right, so we're going to, you know, no other than on Mercedes garage and also our hypercar garage. I'm not sure if I have a spot for the Bugatti, but if we have an older Bugatti, I'm just going to replace it. Oh, yo, I thought I was getting pulled over right now. Somebody else got the heat. Don't tell me they're about to start while not right now. Not over here, man. I got work to do. Franklin, don't be playing. Man. All right, so let's see. What do we have to do? Let's bring both of the cars out, though. Let me see. Is the trailer too high for nah? Let's let's get a flat surface, bro. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like pretty pretty high for us to drop off the cars. All right, there you go. All right, so let's start by opening this. Truck real quick. Of course, it opened so easy, but dropping it off is always the hard part. All right, can I just jump in the bins? Yep. All right, so the next thing is to detach it. Oh, don't do that, please. All right. Look at those rims, though. Look at those. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at this. All right. Get the Bugatti. Ah, oh, of course I can't just jump in the Bugatti like that. All right. So let's open the side door. You know, I feel like I can just go in there. I think it should be like the driver door. Yeah. So we're gonna op we open the side door. Let's see. Would it still allow me to just go in there? Yep, I'm in there. All right, so we in the Bugatti now, and let's detach it. All right. Okay, we got both cars here safely. Oh, come on. The beds I will have to reload. <laughs> Yo, GTA don't play, bro. Oh, I saw what happened. All right, so when I locked it and walk away, it just. All right, I saw what just happened. Anyway, I'm all right, so I have to make sure I lock it again. Once I walk away, is it gonna do the same thing? All right, we good. We good now, man. That was such a glitch, man. All right, so let's just close this. Hashtag, you guys didn't see that. All right, we're just gonna close the door, and uh, we got to go, bro. Close this too. All right, so let's go downstairs to our garage first. So we got this and that. So we're going down to the garage, and then uh, let's remove a car if we have to. It's been a while since I've been to those garage. Um, I think we should have some space though. All right, first garage. I think which is going to be the Mercedes garage. And uh, just like I said, guys, this is going to be the end of this. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And this was fun, man. I don't know if this is going to be an hour. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> been I haven't been keeping up with the time, but hopefully we're good. All right, Mercedes girl. Oh, we do have a spot, but are we going to have to get rid of all old Maybach though? Wait, where is it again? Oh, so we don't even have the Maybach in here. Oh, I mean this one. This is an older one. Yeah, this is an older one. I mean, we could keep it, but we do have a spot. Remember, we got rid of the G wagon from here. So let's bring the May back in. And that's this is the C63, I'm guessing. 
three S. All right, so we got a spot. We got a spot for the Maybach, and uh, yeah, let's bring the Maybach first. Man, this was a mission. I feel like I went to work for real today. This was a mission, bro. I mean, this is us going to work for ourselves, right? Nah, this this Maybach is clean, bro. Interior is definitely a different color, of course, but it is what it is. Oh, this thing is fast. Oh, we're gonna have to drive this for an episode. Maybe we'll do a a transport day with this, uh, aka Uber job. All right, so we got the spot for this one. Now uh, we need to the, the hypercar garage. I think might be a problem. I don't know if I have a Chiron. Oh, look at this! Somebody look at this. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to save it. But to save, yep. All right, made back and uh, we got the brightest over here, man. All right, let me know if you guys like the this Mercedes garage. But uh, other, um, we're gonna have to set up another Mercedes. Oh, let me let me see which one I'm gonna have to move. All right, hypercar garage. And this is why I used to do let's go to work, uh, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. I used to do let's go to work. Oh, yeah. All right. We got a chance to get rid of this uh, Sharon over here. We got the. Let me see. Not the fast Sharon. This is the one that could go over 300 miles per hour. Um, This this kind of look. Uh, yeah. Look like a base model Sharon with some customization. All right. And uh, Bugatti Chiron, goodbye. Bro, this is always a thing. Like, we can't press B. All right, so let's get the Chiron, and uh, we're going to have to call it after this, man. I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this, of course. It's always, it's always fun setting up my garage and getting you some new cars. I mean, the misery kit on this Sharon. Look at the doors, too. The misery kit on this Sharon is on point. You guys let me know. Do you guys like the misery kit like that? Let me know. I saw a misery kit on the G Wagon, and this thing is on point. But I wouldn't put it on my G Wagon right now, man. I just, I love my G Wagon right now, though, to say this the way it is. <laughs> the way it is. Oh, is the light red? Oh, we definitely getting a ticket for that. The lights are red, guys. Yeah, we definitely getting a ticket for that. Oh, I failed to save again. But it is. Yeah. Now this this Bugatti's sitting well. It kind of looked like it belonged here now. It looked like a transformer though. I think it looked like a transformer, low key. Alright, um, I guess picture time for the hypercar garage. If you guys can tell, we got a new you got a new Bugatti. And uh, yeah, man, gonna have to do it for today. Let's bring the truck and trailer back, and uh, I hope you guys are, are enjoying your Saturday. Um, that is for most of the people that have time. I'm gonna cut this into like a short or something like that for TikTok, but um, or for Instagram and stuff like that. But I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And then we are out of here. Let me know if you guys also like the customization I did to my truck. This truck been serving us since what, 2017, bro. Hashtag on point. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.